What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, you and you're watching the Rage and Roll Review. Got a review for you. I saw Big Brother, or otherwise known as in Cantonese, Dai Si Hing. And it is a Hong Kong film. It's a Hong Kong martial arts action film starring Donnie Yen. And Donnie Yen is one of my favorite martial arts actors of all times. This is my favorite Hong Kong actor, and I really love a lot of his films. This is his latest film, and if you haven't seen any of his films, well, he's most known famous for his work on the Ip Man trilogy. And also, if you watched Rogue One, a Star Wars story, he plays Sharut Imwe. Anyways, um, looking forward to this film. I love Donnie Yen films, so uh, let me start off with my expectations. I expect this film to play out kind of like Dangerous Minds. You know Dangerous Minds starring Michelle Pfeiffer? It's got the same type of premise where we have a uh, we have Donnie Yen's character who came from uh, the military he was in special forces and then he decided to quit and then go in as a school teacher and they put him in the worst like the, the most troubled kids uh, that class he, he, they put him in a class full of troubled kids and then I expected to play out like they don't like him at first, but then they find out who he is and then they start liking him because of his teaching methods. And then they eventually fall in love with him. And then uh, some gangsters get thrown in the mix and then he starts kicking ass. That's what I expect out of this film and nothing more than that. So I've seen the film and I got exactly what I expected and more. There's some things I didn't expect. One thing I really didn't expect is for this film to play out like a feature length public service announcement to stay in school. If you have a, if you know somebody who is a troubled teen or, or um, uh, at risk youth who does not want to be in school, get them to watch this film, seriously, because there is so much like of a, this whole film is a, like an entire positive message about telling kids to stay in school. And you know, while films like this would have a message, they're not subtle about it at all. <laughs> and I think it got a little bit annoying. It's like, I get the point now. <laughs> we know we know that you should stay in school. So yeah, that, uh, that was definitely something I didn't expect. I also didn't expect it to be a little bit more, um, it's a more tame Donnie Yen film. I mean, the action is there, but it's definitely more tame in the sense that because there's such a positive message there, they definitely don't want, they definitely water it down a little bit just so that you're not watching a film that uh, has too much, um, like, like uh, I guess, killing. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say the word killing, but but like the level of violence, they, you, you don't want it to be overkill because of the positive message that it has in this film. So that, I didn't expect it to be like that. Uh, I was just expecting your standard Donnie Yen action film, but uh, they put definitely they definitely pushed the message through very very um, very very hard, and they weren't subtle about it at all. Let me tell you some of the things I did like about this film. I like that this film. I think that they were trying to go for a serious film, like a serious message, and they want to get a positive message out there. But it ended up uh, unintentionally being uh, a little bit uh, silly. And it I feel it didn't take itself too seriously. I mean, this is a Hong Kong film. And if you know Hong Kong films, they are really... Like, you really shouldn't take them too seriously unless it is a like a full-on drama. But for a film like this, it is a fun film. Like, some things are just over the top and I, I kind of like that about this film. I also really liked, and I'll name a specific scene, the MMA, the locker room fight. Oh man, that locker room fight was great. In fact, there were some scenes in the locker room fight that gave me goosebumps because it's just so great to see Donnie Yen play not an undercover cop, not like a like a like a tough cool guy, like a like a hot headed cool guy, um, not playing a martial arts master like in a, in a like the during the, the the older Chinese periods, it's great to see him play something as cool as a, like just a school teacher. So when I saw him like just go up against those MMA fighters in the locker room, that was really really cool. I really liked that scene. I also liked that um, that uh, he like I like his character. Uh, his character is you know not much of a stretch for him, but. You know, he you, he really plays a really likable character because he wants to he really wants to help people. So that's really cool. But besides that, uh, 
Um, this is a pretty standard um, Donnie Yen action film, but uh, I, I would say that it's better than some of his... Um, his action films. As a matter of fact, I like this story more to the point where I'm okay with the lack of action in this film. I mean, there is a lot of action, but it's kind of like there's, I feel there's more drama in this film than there is uh, action. So I actually was invested in the drama and invested in the kids that uh, they focused on. Honestly speaking, there's not much to say that didn't work for me in this film. I mean, the public service announcement was was a bit in your face, but that didn't bother me that much. It was a bit funny that they decided to do that. Um, I guess one thing that didn't work for me uh, was something that's very, very small and doesn't really affect uh, my enjoyment of the film, and that is they kind of put like a subtle, it's not, I wouldn't even say a subtle, a very tiny romance element in it, uh, like uh, like a small, small, small romance element in it, and they decided to do nothing with it at all. Like, I'm just thinking, why would they even have that in the first place? Just take it out entirely because it's just, it just makes you think that something's going to happen and nothing really happens. So I, I think that they should have really just taken that out. Another thing that I felt that was a, a bit, um, that didn't work for me or rather I thought was kind of silly was that this film is like the equalizer and Donnie Yen, he's just... He's just so perfect. He's like Robert McCall, who's played by Denzel Washington in The Equalizer. He's like Robert McCall, but like a school teacher version because he helps people. He helps so many people and he's so perfect about it. They don't really like show him how he helps them, but he just does it. He, and he's able to, ach to achieve it successfully and without any effort. He's like Mr. Perfect. His character is so perfect, too perfect to the point where the only times here where he's not really that perfect is when sometimes he, he does get his ass kicked a bit. Uh, during the fights, uh, but uh, besides that, his character is just perfect. Too perfect. So uh, that is the only thing that I think is weak about this film. Overall, this is a good film. I'm going to give this film a 7 out of 10, and it's a type of film that I actually enjoyed the drama as much as I enjoyed the action. In fact, I was okay that this film actually only has two major action sequences. I'm okay with that just because... I was still quite invested in the characters and all of the developments they go through. So that was good, but I wouldn't say that this film is great. It's a good movie. It's a fun movie. It's, it's, um, it's a well-balanced drama and action film, and it's nothing that's totally outstanding. So there you have it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think this is still a film that's worth checking out, especially if you're a Donnie Yen fan and you'll have a good time, you'll enjoy yourself. But man, that locker room fight was something else. Very, very cool scene, great fight scene, and a really decent film. So there you have it, seven out of 10. As always, if you enjoyed this review and you wanna see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Oxy. thanks for watching. See you next time, peace.